video is to go over the Wenberg, Wenberg article um, about Alzheimer's. And I wanted to take you through it as an example of how to write an introduction. And uh, we'll also go over the abstracts. So here's the title of the article. Um, here are the authors. This is the abstract, the next paragraph here that I've highlighted. That is the abstract. Then you'll find keywords below the abstract, and then it starts the introduction. Now, it doesn't say introduction, but it is the introduction. And as you scroll through, you see it, it also goes over risk factors. There's different variables, um, coping style, religion and spirituality, patient symptom and characteristics. And then it goes over interventions and it'll keep going in the paper. But I, what I want you to focus on right now is I want you to focus on before risk factors. So it's literally just page one here. That is the article's uh, abstract and then introduction. So let's go through the abstract. One of the first things that you're gonna need to figure out for your DV is what is the prevalence. And so here the opening sentence in the abstract basically says um, the, as the prevalence of this disease increases, so does the cost. And then it identifies the population that it impacts. So family, friends of patients um, are the primary caregiver for someone with this disease. And so it starts off, so the paper says prevalence, but it didn't actually say what the prevalence is. So we have to keep reading to figure that out. The next thing I note here is that it talks about interventions. Um, and really, they're going to suggest interventions to treat this issue. They also say there's a sentence here in the abstract that tells you what they're going to write about. So they're going to say this review, this literature review, presents the literature on caregiver burden, risk factors, and also it's going to propose an intervention. And then it tells you what those, the intervention is. The authors advocate for holistic interdisciplinary team approach, and the goal is to improve health and the quality of care. Now, it didn't really explain what they meant by health and quality of life, uh, but we'll get into that more. So now we've finished reading the abstract. Now we're just going to read the introduction. And as you see, this introduction is very small. It's not, there's not much to it. The opening sentence, now I want you to pay attention to this opening paragraph very carefully because this is exactly how you're going to write yours. So it starts with saying more than 5 million adults have this disease. And so that is the prevalence of the overarching problem that they want to solve. That is not the specific DV for the paper, okay? And we'll get into that more. But so the sentence one literally identifies what is the prevalence. Sentence two identifies the population. So two and three identify the population. Four, the fourth sentence identifies the dependent variable. Basically what happens is caregivers care for relatives that have this disease and they experience high levels of stress and burden. And I've highlighted a few of these things so if you see to the right side of the page I have identified here continuous DV. Now remember if you watched in the other video what's the difference between dichotomous and continuous, this is another example. So stress and burden are continuous DVs, whereas Alzheimer's would be dichotomous. You either have Alzheimer's or you don't. It's like pregnancy. Either you are pregnant or you're not. You can't be sort of pregnant, right? So that's dichotomous. We want a continuous DP, DV like stress and burden. And so they've identified it here in the fourth sentence of the introduction. And then they go on to sort of explain this further. So I want you to read through this abstract or read through this introduction to get an idea of what an introduction looks like because you're going to write it for yours. If you look at the side too, um, I have created little comment bubbles here and that tells you what is the prevalence of your DV. This kind of guides you through the paper. This tells you um, 
independent variable. So the intervention is the independent variable, but what specific intervention are they talking about? And they're talking about a holistic interdisciplinary team approach. That's what they're looking at. Um, they propose an intervention. And again, here the authors indicate the prevalence of Alzheimer's disease. Now I want you to try to figure out the prevalence of your continuous DV. Okay, so this video was about the introduction in the Wenberg article. I want you to use this as a model as you write your introduction to your paper.